seven principles in formulating learning objectives. First, begin with the end in mind. Says Covey, the author of Seven Habits of Effective People. In the context of teaching, this means that we must begin our lessons with a clearly defined lesson objective. With a clear and specific lesson objective, we will have a sense of direction. With a specific objective, our lesson become more focused. Second, share lesson objective with students. Begin with a statement of purpose. Encourage them to make the lesson objective their own. This lesson objective, when shared and possessed by our students, will become their personal target. Make your student own the lesson objective. When our students set their own personal targets, we are certain that they become more self-motivated. Third, lesson objective must be in the two or three domains, knowledge cognitive, skill psychomotor, and values affective. Dominantly, cognitive if it is meant primarily for knowledge acquisition and dominantly psychomotor if it is intended for the acquisition and honing of the skills. Lesson objectives in the affective domain are mainly focused on attitude and value formation. A cognitive or a skill lesson must always include the affective dimensions for holistic learning. What is most important, according to this principle, is that our lesson is holistic and complete because it dwells on knowledge and values. If we teach only knowledge, this is incomplete for this may not in any way touch and bring about change in the learner. We may end up with more head knowledge that is measured in tests then completely forgotten after the test. If we teach only skill and accompanied by values, we may contribute to the formation of people who will have all the skills to oppress, to abuse, and to take advantage of the unskilled. So it is necessary for our that our lesson gets direction from objectives in the two or three domains with the affective domain always present. Fourth, work on significant and relevant lesson objectives. Our lesson objective becoming our students lesson objective too. Our students will be self-propelled as we teach. The level of their self-motivation all the more increases when our lesson objective is relevant on their daily life, hence significant. Fifth, lesson objective must be aligned with the aims of education as embodied in the Philippine Constitution and other laws and on the vision mission statements of the educational instruction of which you are a part. The aims of education as enriched in our fundamental law of the land in the Education Act of 1982, the 10-year medium-term development plan must be reflected in the vision mission statements of educational institutions must be filtered down to the course objectives stated in course syllabi and in lesson objectives laid in lesson plans. 
This means that the aims and goals of education as provided for in our laws filter down to our lesson objectives. We have something to do with the attainment of our broad aims of education. We can contribute very much to the realization of our school, school's vision and mission statements because our lesson objectives are based on our school's vision and mission statement. 6. Aim at the development of critical and creative thinking. If you want to contribute to the development of citizens who are critical and creative thinkers, the type of citizens needed to make democracy, then we should include in our scope of questions high-level, divergent, or open-ended questions. It must be good likewise not to frown on students who questions a lot, all for the development of critical and creative thinking. Our teaching strategies and techniques must be such that this, they serve as catalyst in the development of higher order thinking skills, HOTS, and creative thinking skills. For this reason, the whole brain must be used for balanced learning, not just the left for critical thinking, but also the right for creative thinking. Seven, for accountability of learning, lesson objective must be smart, specific, measurable, attainable, result-oriented, and relevant, time-bound, and terminal. When our lesson objectives is smart, it is quite easy to find at the end of our lesson if we attained our objectives or not. Smart objectives increase our accountability for the learning of our students. We depart from the unsound practice of teaching that is so spread out that in the end we find ourselves unclear in what tests we are going to give to assess learning. With smart lesson objectives, there is greater match between instruction and assessment. There is a curriculum alignment. Seven principles in formulating learning objectives. Begin with the end in mind. Share lesson objectives with students. Lesson objective must be in the two or three domains, knowledge cognitive, skills psychomotor, and values affective. Work on significant and relevant lesson objectives. Lesson objective must be aligned with the aims of education as embodied in the Philippine Constitution and other laws and on the vision mission statements of the educational instruction of which you are a part. Aim the development of critical and creative thinking. For accountability of learning, lesson objectives must be smart, specific, measurable, attainable, result-oriented, and relevant time-bound and terminal. That's the seven principles in formulating learning objectives.